Oh, hi there, everybody. As you probably noticed, I've been missing in action. Um, been really up to my eyeballs and working on that trench project. And then uh, when I haven't been doing that, been going full blast line born, but none of that was interesting enough to show you. But just made this the other morning. I didn't uh, bother to document any of it because it didn't dawn on me at the time, and it's just simple fabrication work. But thought I'd show it to you. So one of my customers has got a pretty tall flat deck, flat deck truck, and they wanted a ladder to get on off the side of it. Now, I can't lay claim to inventing this. They showed me a picture of one on somebody else's truck and said, can you make us one of these? And it's simple enough that it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to do it. So anyway, this thing bolts under the edge of the bed of the truck. So the uh, length of this is dictated by where the frame weight frame rail on the bed sits and the outside rail of the truck so that was the length that had to be to fit in there and this you can see you got a couple little pegs on here that drop in behind that's what keeps it from coming out when you're driving so anyway that slides out and then there she is hangs out and this uh, is the stop that it comes back in it's got a two inch tube in here sliding inside of the channel that comes against these plates that I've milled out slats for those uh, tangs in. And then comes up against that, and then that's what supports it out at an angle from the edge of the truck. So, like I say, I didn't invent this, but I do think it's a pretty slick idea. So I thought I would uh, <clears throat> show some video of that. Anybody with a trailer or a truck that's got, you know, a flat deck or it's kind of high, there's a surprising amount of steel in this thing. Um, more than I would have expected when I started. I didn't keep tracks. I had material around, built it, but I'll bet you all together there's uh, somewhere between 25 and 30 feet of steel in this thing between the flat stock, the angle iron, the side channels, the uh, rectangular tubing I made the ladder out of. Um, the only thing that I might do different, by the way, if I had it to do over again, is I used this rectangular tube because that's what I had. In hindsight, I'd have rather made it out of some narrower square tube. And the reason for that is that because that is so close to the width of this, you don't have a lot of motion there. If I would have had a narrower tube, I could have had this notch higher up here and had more protection from you know banging and rattling and having it bounce over that edge. Now, I don't think it's going to. But that's just one of those, you don't realize it until you've got, you're underway and you're building it. And this is what I had, so it's what we're going to use. But if you had like some one-inch square tube, this is three-inch channel iron. That combination would let you put the notch up higher and have a more positive capture, I guess is how I'd put it. But I think this is going to work just dandy. And So that's what I was up to yesterday morning. I don't think there's anything else that new and exciting around here happening. Um... The only thing I'll mention with this, and this is probably something that anybody that's much of a fabricator knows, is where this tube meets that, I do have a tubing notcher, but it's a pain to set up. So I did that by just putting a two inch hole saw in a radial drill and clamping it down. And I figured out how long I wanted them two pieces to be. And so I cheated and just punched a hole right through the tube and that created the two chunks matter of fact i can show you the piece that came out of there it was kind of cool so right here is the plug that it chopped out and then it left just a little tiny crescent of steel on each side that i had to uh, stick in the bandsaw cut that off and then that was my two side legs so that gave me my perfect cope job for going around that tube and did it all in one pass and that's where I say that tubing notcher would have done it, but it wasn't near as convenient for that. So anyway, I don't think there's anything else new and exciting I got to show you guys. So that'll be it for today. I'll bring you back next time there's something worth talking about.